Well, hey friends, welcome back to the cabin. I've got a little bit more work to do out here on the post and beam for the workshop, but then we're gonna start putting it together. So let's get started. Well, hey friends, welcome back to the cabin. Today is the day that I'm excited and been waiting for the day that we actually start putting the workshop together. So I've got the first beam loaded on here. Everything is ready to go. So I'll meet you down there. See all those carpenter bees checking this wood out. Uh. All right, I think what I'm going to do is bring the big floor beam, put it in here. Then when we bring the post over here, we can set it in, and this would be easy to slide in. So I think that would work out the best. Hey friends, it's time for another giveaway. Congratulations, Carrie Flat for the Review Channel and Mike Zeltner for the Outpost Channel on the set of calipers that were given away. Be sure and contact us at SmokyMountainOutpost at gmail.com on how we can get in touch with you and get this stuff shipped out to you as soon as possible. This month we decided to give away, and I'm excited about this, this brand new uh, tool pouch that my son got me. This is what it looks like up close. It's made out of real canvas and it is nice. And I thought when I got this, I've just got to share this with everybody. So check this out. 
There's pockets over here to put your tools in and each one of these pouches right here are zippered. There's five of them. Is that not cool? You could fold it up this way if you like and carry it with the handle um, and the straps will still go around. You just let them out and hook them in over here. So cool. So there you go for the month of June. You want to enter these giveaways? Make sure and leave some comments in the videos. Again, congratulations to the winners. Let's get back to the video. You wouldn't actually think, but it takes quite a few of these pins. Um, it's like nails. If you were using those, you would think, how many nails would I use? That's how many of these you're going to use. Guys, I decided I'm not going to use this one. This is the one I was going to cut for the center, but uh, there's just too much of this bad spot right here. I couldn't tell when I cut it, but this is where the tree actually forked, where the branch had left. So let's go cut another one.
one of the trees that blew down in the windstorm. Now, if you've been watching this channel, you know that I've been mainly using poplar, but since this blew down, I didn't see any reason why I couldn't switch species. Best utilize my resources. There we go. You want to give it just a little bit of slack so that when you set it down you still got enough room to get it off. So this is my upper center beam and first thing we got to do is square it off. Give us a starting point because sawmill lumber is not ready to use. Thank <laughs> you. 
Yeah, this is the center beam that goes up top, um, or the, our ridge beam. And I'm glad I remade it because I don't have that big defect on the end of it like that other one that I had cut. Of course, it did take me an extra day, but um, it's well worth it, you know, because once it's in place, you can't really change it. It's too difficult. What we doing? I am back, and I wonder what he was doing. What were you doing? I was putting that beam in up there. Setting that thing in place.
it right there. Woo! y'all we just finished the materials for the front of the barn quit wiping your forehead you did not do that work i did cheater cheater pumpkin eater she's about as handy as a pocket on a shirt and that day i was a compliment not you know because i didn't have a pocket what do you call an elephant without a purpose irrelevant <laughs> what willie <laughs> <laughs> No, guys, we've got everything ready to go now for the front half, so we'll be setting it soon. Uh, we just got everything oiled up, or she finished oiling everything up. We got a lot done today. Yeah, it's supposed to rain, so that's the reason that I covered it up. But um, anyway, yeah, I'm so glad to have that center beam set, okay? He's Ray, really so glad that I'm out for the summer. Ray Ray saved the day. He did, yeah, as he, always. He came up and helped us set that uh, up top. So. All right, guys, as soon as these dry, we'll get back to setting them. But for now, let's go tie some maters. Well, we got the tomatoes tied up. And I'll tell you what, it rained all night long. So this ground is soaked. But yeah, the tomatoes are really doing well. I've got some nice looking peppers right there already. Check that out, three of them. And look at that little beauty over there, banana pepper. My cucumbers are doing great. The beans, they're coming along nicely. Onions are doing well. And the potatoes, they're doing well also. I planted the upper half the other day, uh, so I'll have some late potatoes coming on. We're going to start setting the front half of the workshop next week, so hopefully we get all of that uh, in place where we can continue on with the rest of the building. Friends, if you're interested in raised bed gardening, click up here in the top right hand corner of when we started here at the homestead. Thanks for watching. We really appreciate it. And we look forward to seeing you back up here at the cabin again next time.